on the play before, uh, you were in coverage on that sideline. It looked from up here that uh, you had a great play on the ball. That, was that a PI call? Yeah, it was a PI call. I was uh, I was a little frustrated by it, but you know, next play and uh, the very next play that happened. Mm -hmm. So um, you know that that's why you stuff happens in football. You just keep playing. So. Right, and you started on the hash and rotated over the top on that coverage. Yeah. Did you think he was going that way? How how soon did you read his eyes on that? Um. Well. I, I believe it was a double move. I, I haven't looked at the film yet, but um, you know, I think he gave a little pump, and I saw the shoulders go that way. So I, I took a lot of black jerseys in front of me, so I just I just let them lead me to the end zone. <coughs> Defensively, what was the focus this afternoon? You guys gave him 41 last week, just 17 this week, and you really shut him down in the second. I think the biggest thing was just kind of getting back to the basics and, and doing the little things, not trying to do too so much, you know, just uh, you know, not to take in our, in our effort. Don't know how has uh, a player like Antoine Brooks helped the secondary, you know, this year, and then also his versatility to be able to kind of play in the box. Just how has he changed and kind of shaped this defense? Um, Antoine Antoine makes a lot of plays. You know, uh, he's came a long way as far as him having to learn a new position and be able to play multiple positions because it's, it's not easy to to one down be playing one position, the next down you're playing another. So, uh, I, uh, he's really focused up and uh, made it a priority to make sure that he's he's ready to uh, step in and make plays. How important is it to have Shane on the rollback? When you kind of got back in the fold, did it seem like your guys' defense changed or was just better? Um, you know, uh, Shane, that's one of my uh, one of my friends. You know, Shane, Shane's a good guy, and uh, he definitely he plays hard. You know, uh, I don't I don't think I've ever seen Shane you know take a play off or, or kind of lax. So um, I think that just brings a. That brings good energy because you want everybody on the defense to have that same that same mindset where they never take a playoff and they just play hard. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Well, with, with the way the offense has these playmakers do you feel that defense this is this is part of your deal too that you want to have playmakers guys who can make those kind of plays yeah you know um especially as a as a db anytime well really anyone uh, anytime you get get a chance to make a turnover on defense i think the first thing that goes to your mind is you want to you want to go score you know uh, obviously offense that's what they do they score touchdowns but i think a defensive touchdown can really swing a lot of momentum in a game you know uh, i think anytime a defense gets a turnover is a big play, but anytime they get a turnover and score, it's a really big play. So. Did, you, did you feel that that sort of, sort of re, re, you know, got you jump started again from the early start? It seemed like things were lagging a little bit and that play sort of just, you know, straightened things out. Yeah, I mean, uh, me personally, I just, I, after that, I was tired. I was, I was really tired. So, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know what was going on around me. So I don't know how the play sounded, you know, I just, uh, I was focused on, you know, because I know we had to go back out on the field because we just scored a defense touchdown. So I was focused on getting my win back so I could go back out on the field. Darnell, did you get to talk to Seed before he made his first start today? And did you say anything to him or did you, you know, get to kind of observe before the game at all? Yeah, because um, Seed's a guy, you don't you don't really have to say anything to him. You know, he's uh, he's, he's very mature. You know, he, you can tell he's always about his business. So uh, he's a guy that you don't have to – Oh, like, you, are you ready? I don't think he likes people to, to ask him, is he ready and stuff like that. So um, I think he definitely does a good job with, with making sure he's prepared. Tell me how I'm, I'm not sure I've ever seen you drop a ball that has hit your hands uh, in the secondary. I mean, how much do you, how much time in the off season and in practice do you put into, you know, pass catching? And, and do you have any previous experience, you know, high school stuff, playing receiver and stuff that, that you would attribute, you know, your hands to? Yeah, I mean, uh, in high school, I did used to play receiver, running back, and all that stuff. But um, I look at it as you know, you're only gonna get so many opportunities as decent defensive back to to make those kind of plays, and um, you know, you don't want to drop it, and then, you know, it's it's gone. You don't know when the next time you're gonna get one is. So um, you just want to make the most of your opportunities, really. And, and I think that you know, anytime you have opportunity, you want to make the play. Beat the Tigers! Woo!